PlayhouseSquare.org has got all the details. These tickets for you, champions of magic. Good luck. Call 10 216 578 1007 or 800-348-1007. Now we come to a very important section. One that everyone dreads or is embarrassed by or tries to avoid completely. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. Texting Gwen about the nugget recall because it's actually stuff that we buy. No. Tyson Chicken dropped a chicken nugget recall. Like dino nuggets or something. They said they got metal in them. Yeah. So if your kid, or maybe you, you know, they're adults who eat like children. A pound cake might have a bag of fun nuggets in his fridge. I don't know. Uh, they've recalled 30,000 pounds of uh, fun nuggets. Because I'll tell you what, I bet it's not real fun if you get a piece of metal in your mouth. That's probably the least amount of fun you're going to have. Is there a place where people could come for fun metal, Alan? Fun is not an adjective we use on our <laughs> metal show, Mary. Oh, it's not? It's Two hours fun. to midnight. I mean, it's fun for us. That's what I mean. And it's fun for, yeah, but but you can't attach fun to heavy metal. It's serious business. I don't think, okay. And we are not on this Saturday night. Oh, well. Nevertheless, right. Cavs game is too late. Blame the Cavs. But we'll be back next Saturday night, the 18th. But two hours to midnight is our metal show. For uh, fun. For fun and excitement. It's the fun of new metal. It's the excitement of local metal. Mm -hmm. And it's the thrill of classics. Look at that. But we would never use the word fun. Because it's uh, it has to be... Uh, it's not serious, but uh, it's a lot of black and a lot of, uh, you know. Uh, Fun is for sissies? No. Oh. It's just not a word that's usually attached to the heavy metal genre, I think. Yeah, they don't usually go, are you guys having fun? <laughs> I need for some fun. <laughs> Who's ready to have some fun? Are we having fun yet at this death metal show? Uh-huh. This one's called... Blood pus. I mean, does this sound fun? To some people. I love it. But does it sound fun? I don't know. A lot of adjectives. Oh, what a good song. Love that band. Suffocation. No breathing. Don't give up. If I get Come on. Get the, get the, get yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. Not a lyrics guy. Couple of <laughs> hours west of Vancouver, one of our Canadian Bureau chiefs sent me this. There was a massive crash involving a fireworks truck. It's like that scene in The Naked Gun where he goes, okay, nothing to see here. And the fireworks factory mm -mm. is exploding behind him. Happened in real life. Up there uh, east of Vancouver. Kind of in the middle of nowhere, but it would be fun to see a fireworks truck explode. November, you know, you don't have to wait till July again. An explosive crash sparked a dramatic fireworks show that lit up the skies near Hope last night. And the aftermath was caught on camera. CTV's Michelle Bernaro shows us what happened when a trailer loaded with fireworks was hit by a semi. A stunning a semi? A, a semi. semi. I guess I've never heard. Let me say that. Yeah. I guess I've never heard Canadians refer to a semi truck. I mean, semi. We we do use that prefix in. We just say semi. I mean, we say. Don't you say semi circle? Yeah. But um, then you say a semi truck. Right. You could say semi circle. I'm sure some people do. But. Uh, hmm. Semi. Wait, where is it? A semi. Yeah, a semi. A stunning scene next to Highway 1, but this was unplanned. I was hiding in the car, just holding my, my phone out of the sunroof because I didn't want to get hit by a stray rocket or anything. But, yeah, it was just so loud and so huge. Just as we approached it, boom. I oh. stuck my head out of the sunroof to see the semi explode. It started going off again. And we were just like, okay, we just have to slam on the on the gas and just try to book it through. 
It was a, just wild to see. Police say it happened when a semi veered out of its lane and struck a pickup truck towing a trailer full of fireworks that had parked on the side of the freeway. Pickup truck was in the ditch on fire, and then the semi had pulled my head. Like, they all say they're semi. They all saying mm -hmm. it, yeah. Ah, it's a Canadian thing, I guess. These are the most Canadian witnesses ever, by the way. The woman, Monica DeRoos and Chantal Shaw. The semi pulled over, eh? Went off to, to his right and hit like this big boulder. The occupant of the uh, pickup truck was transported to the Fraser Canyon Hospital with minor injuries. The crash setting off explosions, flames, and forcing first responders to approach the area with caution. It could have been a lot worse, um, and members had to be really careful when they approached the scene. The fireworks temporarily shut down the eastbound lanes of Highway 1. The whole highway is backed up all the way down. Anyway, what a glorious, glorious time to be alive. To be there to witness a fireworks truck crashing and exploding. That's a semi. what you a semi. want. Like, you wish for that your That's whole childhood. Yeah. They, these It was wasted on adults here. Well, kids can't What's, drive. Huh? Kids can't drive. In Canada, they can. Oh, they Driving can? age up there is seven. I didn't know that. Yeah. Not a lot of stuff to hit. So <laughs> They say, get out there and mm -hmm. practice your driving. Be your There's semis, semis on the yeah. road. Look out for those semis. Look out for the semis. You give them a wide berth, eh? Hmm. Well, thank you, whoever sent me that. Um, but, yeah, no, when you're a kid, you'd be like, oh, it'd be great. But if you saw it, everybody there sounded terrified. And how do you find the people for the news? You know, because the news isn't there until somebody calls them. You offer yourself up. I saw the whole thing. People love that. What's that? Being interviewed for the news. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't like they interviewed them on site. They interviewed them like the one lady's in her backyard and the other lady's in her apartment. Well, it's from where they With like a Zoom the background, stuff, yeah. huh? It's from where they could get a hold of them. Yes, so, but well, wouldn't you talk to people on right there? You go, hey, I'm with uh, CTV News. I don't know. I don't you know how they the do it in explode? Canada. Hmm. They have different uh, laws about how they can do news <laughs> interviews. Like, you got to do one in the backyard, you got to do yeah, one Yeah, laws about news interviews. They got all these laws mm -hmm. up there. I'd like to tell you, but it's breaking the law. I don't need the Mounties showing up. Dude, I was up in Marquette, Michigan oh, on God. Friday, and they all sound like that. They yeah. just talk real slow. Yeah. You kind of have a pasty. They go, oh, pasties, yeah. Yeah, have you heard of these? Oh, cripe, yeah. Oh, my gosh. They're big. They're a delicacy up in the UP. So that's the only place I've Escanaba never heard of them. is where I had them. But, yeah, I mean, you cross the bridge. There's that big, uh, I almost said Manitowoc. That's not it. Uh, Mackinac City Bridge. Mackinac, yeah. <laughs> And um, as soon as you get over the border and into the Upper Peninsula, it's everything. And it's spelled like pasties. Yeah. And I was like, is there like full nudity in Canada? Well, the Upper Peninsula? Like, is this just people you walk around topless and put your pasties on? And it's pasties. Pasties are delicious. Which is actually like a Hot Pocket, hot pocket. that they fill with mashed potatoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some kind of meat. It doesn't have to be beef. It can be deer or elk or whatever. And like carrots and stuff. Rutabaga, they put rutabaga, them in the pasties. And then you dip it in gravy. Yeah. <laughs> it keeps you warm on a cold youper night. It's such a fat people thing. Oh. I was like, dude, I didn't have one. I was only up there for one night. But uh, but yeah, they were talking like that and talking about pasties. Oh, and... pasties. Ever well, everybody here loves pierogies. What's the difference? You don't dip them in gravy and they're not filled with rutabaga. There are pl I guarantee there's people down here dipping pierogies into gravy. Alan, we put sautéed onions on them, which are vegetables. Oh. So... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. And sour cream, and which sour is, cream. or yeah. applesauce, mm -hmm. which is also a fruit. So, oh, cripe. So pretty healthy. Pretty healthy. <laughs> Our noodle pockets are filled <laughs> <laughs> with different items. So you did have one? I did not because, oh. well, from where I was, it was like a seven and a half hour drive each way. So I didn't really have time to be messing around. I see. Having pasties. Guys, I don't have time for pasties. Sorry. Uh -huh. You can get them if you go overseas, too. It's just English food that got brought over here. How'd you like doing it? It's so tasteless. Road gigs. I like hated it. road, road. This yeah. is the first time I've driven to four different cities in four days. Five if you count coming home. I thought you had been in Marquette before. I had been in Houghton. Oh, Houghton, where like uh, Northern for, Michigan for Technical a College School is. College gig, yeah. yeah. I went up there. 
But this was like old road work that I was doing in like 2017, like 27, 18. Yeah, where you're like driving multiple hours each day to check into a crappy hotel. Oh. Dude, okay. I got into this Best Western. Which, where, where This was in Marquette? No, this one was in Port Huron. Mm -hmm. And it, the floor, the carpet... Listen, I don't take my shoes off in most hotel rooms that are like under two stars or you under can't. three stars anyway. Not even four stars, you can't. It's really gross. They're not replacing the carpet. They were wet. And I asked the lady, Ugh. I was like, hey, what happened here? Like, did somebody die and you guys bleached it and cleaned it up because it smelled really heavy like cleaning uh, products? And she goes, no, we just had all of our carpets deep cleaned. I'm like, the hell you did. These carpets are brown. Like, there's no way this is the clean version of what this <laughs> carpet was. And what now color, it's wet. What color was the carpet supposed to be? I don't know, huh. but it was a dingy brown color. And so she's like, all the rooms are going to be like that. I was like, you guys didn't do it by floors so that some of the rooms don't have wet carpet? Like, I'm not arguing with the lady or whatever, but so she said she couldn't switch me rooms because all of the carpets were going to be wet. They're all going to be wet. So I kept my shoes on. And then so what I did is I laid down towels as like those a... those got wet too. Well, I laid them down as like a... Uh, a path path yeah and then when i uh went to go check out and i pulled all the towels up they were brown on the underneath and i'm like you did not clean there's no way that this is the product of cleaning a carpet um well, why did, wait why started it Somebody why did you put the towels it. down so that i could like i had to take a shower yeah so i had to have my shoes off you didn't have flip-flops or slides no or i didn't bring oh, I no see. i didn't yeah. bring any slides are very important for well the most of the yeah. hotels i've been staying in lately have not been bad hotels right oh. but these are like really small town gigs mm -hmm. where they don't have a big budget, you know, so they're putting me up in these, you know. The and they don't even, those, these are usually the nicest hotels is. they have in it, town. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was either this or like a, a motel on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> or like the booker's like, we got an oh, extra room if you want to stay with us. I'm oh, like, I do yeah. not. I do not want to go in your hotel. The Port Huron. It was not a, in or not a happy weekend. Yeah. It was just, I mean, the gigs were great. The crowds were so fun. Those small town gigs are so People much fun yeah. because there's nothing else to do. Yeah, they're just looking mm -hmm. for. But it was all driving and terrible accommodations. Oh, <laughs> I have Christ. A yeah. So for this, I, I was just looking at the U, like the Mackinac, whatever. Mackinac. It is. Mackinac Bridge. Mm -hmm. Mackinac. Return of the Mackinac. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if your car breaks down on that bridge? And they throw you off. Yeah. Yep. Like, well, there's, there's no like any other bridge. I mean, shoulder. somebody's got to come out and get you. And I mean, they close that bridge down when the weather Dude. gets really yeah. bad. I don't know if you guys remember. So you're either stuck in the UP or you're stuck in the mitten. 2019, I was brand new on the show. And I had a run up through Michigan and was supposed to go into the UP in February. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys remember this yeah, yeah. nightmare in, yeah. gig? I called in because I, it was a horrible snowstorm. I was sliding all over the place. My feature act crashed his car and had to go home. And then I got to the bridge and it was closed. Yeah. Like the guy who booked the, the gig didn't tell me, hey, by the way, you can't even get up here. The only other way is to go back down and then up through Wisconsin. They close it all the time, I guess, for like high winds and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Because it's a it's long bridge. It's, yeah. it's huge, yeah. You got to spend a night in Carp Lake. <laughs> and then maybe you can try to get back over. Yeah. Speaking of road dog stuff, I watched that movie that Greg Fitzsimmons was in. Oh, yeah, The Road Dog. Road Dog? Depressing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it probably was... why they put uh, Stan Hope in it. Yeah, like, I mean, Stan He's Hope's... really going to distill what he's this is. perfect in the role. Uh, but, yeah, that was... Uh, I mean, there's a few laughs in it, but they're not really going for laughs. It, it is a depressing film, and it uh, makes me happy to not be in that situation. Yeah. Opposite ends of the spectrum, we watched something on Hulu that just dropped called Quiz Lady mm -hmm. with Aquafina. It's funny, man. It's like a an economical hour 40. It's goofy. Is it funny? It's silly. Or is it like when you said that Office Race was funny? I liked was, Office Race. It was... Not funny. I liked was, Office oh, Race. I thought it was funny. Was so bad. They're like old 80s, like goofy comedies, I think. I thought uh, Quiz Lady was, was funny. Gwen liked it. I, I don't know. Did Gwen like Office Race? She didn't watch it. I okay. did. Okay. All right. I trust Gwen's taste more than you. Well, that's fair. I mean, you know. If Gwen liked it, then I'll I, I'll give it a shot. But she liked Quiz Lady a lot. Quiz Lady, yep. I'll, I'll give a shot. But yeah, Office Race was real bad. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> it's not. It is. It's so, funny. It's so bad. Office race is funny. 
this There's audience needs to, race. It, it, anyone who has Hulu, watch Office Race. It's on Comedy Central, or I don't know if it's on Paramount or what it is. You'll have to watch it. It's like one of those ones where I explained to you last week where it's on Hulu Live. Yeah. But it's on the on-demand version of it. Right. You know so what? It, See, here's a review that agrees with me. Extraordinarily lame. With well. director putting in next to no effort when it comes to creation and execution of humor in the film. I thought it was funny. I, uh, we were watching something yesterday, and Blake wanted to watch um, Home Alone. And I have pretty much every streaming service. And then it seems like it's becoming more and more impossible to find things to watch. Like, I ha we have... It's on Disney+. Plus. It's not. That's where we watched no, it. No, you didn't, because the original Home Alone, they have Home Alone 4. They have Home Alone... Uh, whatever they have, like all the knockoff Home Alones, they don't have one, two, or three. Oh on home, yeah, on Disney Plus. No, huh. I think they did when they first they don't started, anymore. But they they cycle stuff through because they want you to buy it. Well, especially and around thing. this time of it's year. It's so annoying because I'm like, we have Hulu, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, Shutters for horror movies. Yeah. But um, we have Direct TV. We have like seven or eight different streaming apps. And then this one's like, oh, if you want to watch it, you have to download Philo or Tubi or Home this. Alone on Disney Plus. Dude, I'm telling you, yesterday I pulled up Disney Plus to to watch Home Alone, and it told me it wasn't available on that app. Huh? That's right there. All of them. Even it, the bad they ones. had, yeah, they had all the ones after um, Macaulay Culkin was in it. They didn't yeah. have one, two, or three. They had. Maybe they just added it today. Wouldn't that be annoying? <laughs> Back Home Alone. Yeah, it is getting crazy with the streamers, and they just keep. I guess they figure that they've got people where they want them because every other week you're getting an email saying, hey, we're raising the subscription. Mm -hmm. and it's not like you're getting it. They're actually taking things off. Yeah, You're not getting a ton of new stuff, but they figure everybody's so beholden now or, or people like to be able to watch whatever they want, whenever they want, but it, it is pretty ridiculous. It's annoying. Yeah. You know what I did? I went back through my DVD collection, and I was like, well, we're going to use the DVD player for the first time. And for, like, what is the point of having all these stupid, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, well, it's, it's good to have annoying. hard copies. But it's also stupid. Like, why are we paying for all this? Alan, that carpet that Mary's talking about was definitely a flood. Toilet poop water. They No, it wasn't like that. It didn't no, smell. You were, but you also weren't on the ground floor, were no, you? No, I was on the second floor. Right. There was only three. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not like they flooded to the third floor. No, but also, as soon as I pulled up, I was like, this is not going to be good. Like, you can tell from the just the, how the exterior of a building is kept, where you're like, oh, yeah, this is, I'm not going to do this. Yeah. I came home yesterday, and I made myself real scrambled eggs. <laughs> what do you mean? I, well, I had been eating continental breakfast for four oh, days, yeah. so it's like they use that, like, powdered egg. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where it's like the texture is just, it's not the same. Okay. It's, uh, it's, I don't know that I've had powdered egg. Well, if you've ever had egg at a continental <laughs> breakfast, that's what it is. It's always that? Always. They're it's, not using real eggs? No. Ever? Not at ones no. that, no. Not at, unless you're staying at like a nicer hotel where they're actually cooking the food. But well, this that's stuff, what I'm saying. That's, yeah. No, this stuff's all coming out of like microwaves. I'm not staying at the, the, where'd you say? Best Western. <laughs> I ain't staying at the Best Western. <laughs> yeah, but. When I make my reservation, I go, you guys use eggs? They go, of course. Yeah, I go, real okay. eggs? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. So I made scrambled eggs yesterday, and I'm eating them. And Brian's like, why are you so happy about this? I'm like, dude, I've been eating dry, but somehow still too wet Ugh. powdered eggs. For four These days. are somehow too wet and too dry yes, at the same time. Yes, yes. The outside of them is wet from the condensation of the the container that they're in, but they have like a dry texture to them. Right. Maybe Mary has Disney Minus. I might. <laughs> I might, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I checked my Disney Plus, too, and it's on there. It's on there. It wasn't on there yesterday. Somebody else texted me. They looked last night. No Home Alone 1 or 2. See? Can you imagine if it just it went on today? Just, just, went today. Today. Yeah. just yeah. coincidentally in time for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Let me break here. I'll have uh, Hassan Minaj tickets for you. He's coming to do Playhouse Square, if you're a fan of his. Um, the Off With His Head tour is what he's calling it. So I'll have a couple of tickets for you uh, there. If you want to text 35192, another keyword coming at 430. It's your next chance to grab a thousand bucks from the buzzer bookie. It's the Alan Cox Show. Everywhere on our free iHeartRadio app. Or whatever smart device you have. Just tell it to play the Alan Cox Show on iHeartRadio. From the Mr. Hero. I crave the 